If you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video in the future. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Last Year the Nightmare video. Today we finally got our first official trailer for the game and it's a doozy with quite a few kill animations revealed and some creatable items. Before we break this thing down though, let's take a look at that trailer. Okay, well, in that two minute trailer, there was a lot going on. So let's go ahead and break down some of the highlights of this trailer, starting first with the kill animations. In all seriousness, these animations are way better than I ever anticipated them being. There are actually some pretty brutal kills in here, with noticeably graphic gore. That being said, there are three kills in this trailer that stood out the most to me. The first coming from The Strangler. For this kill, it wasn't so much the animation that intrigued me, but the build up before the kill. First you'll notice Chad releases some sort of green gas, which honestly I have no clue what this is. After that, the Strangler hooks Chad with a chain and drags him in for the execution. Seeing that chain used in action like that shows just how useful that may end up being and how effective the Strangler may be as a killer. The next animation I find interesting also comes from the Strangler as he appears to be hiding in a vent. Inside the vent he's able to throw out his chain and hook Sam, ultimately dragging her inside to her death. This is another interesting kill that one, shows how great the Strangler is again, and two, shows just how scary this game could end up being. I'm excited to see other kills like this, which leads me to my favorite kill of the trailer, coming from the Slasher, when he jumps down from the skylight and absolutely destroys Troy. This kill just shows more of what we saw in the early alpha footage it ways back, but damn, that's an awesome kill. Now that the kill is out of the way, let's talk about some of the other interesting features, including the security cams. Now these security cams, which we see the Strangler checking out, seem to play a factor in tracking down survivors and are most likely vital to your success as a killer. After this we see Troy crawling through one of the vents. This will serve as another way to avoid the killer and get from room to room quickly. That being said, based on what we saw with the Strangler in the vent, you may have to play it pretty safe with some of these vents. We also got our first look at the Slasher taking down doors with his axe. It looks like quickly locking doors like Friday the 13th will give you a little bit of time from the killer, but ultimately, not too much. Ideally, you're going to want to always be moving and sticking with other survivors. I also thought it would be worth pointing out what I'm calling the Wall of the Dead, where you see hundreds of crossed off faces and just five remaining, them of course being the survivors in the game. Out of the entire school, it looks like these are the only five remaining. Now we also got a look at one of the escape plans for the survivors. This is one we already knew about because of the Kickstarter updates, but it's worth pointing out anyway. For this plan, you will need to collect gas and bring it to the scissor lift, drive the scissor lift across the gym, and use the lift to access the rafters and escape out the gate. Quite a journey, but it seems like a pretty exciting one. I'm interested to see just how difficult it will be to accomplish such an escape. And as for some weapons, we get to see Chad using a flamethrower against the Strangler, and Sam using the shotgun against the Giant, both of which don't seem to be all that effective. 
However, we have been hearing reports from those that played the game at PAX that the killer does often die and respawn throughout the game, so obviously, the weapons can't be too bad. Now with this trailer release, many are already asking where the release date is. We have yet to get a specific date, but Elastic Games still has confirmed that the game will be coming this fall, and will be releasing first on Discord, and will be coming three months later to Steam. Now as for consoles, because I know many are wondering, there is no guarantee last year the Nightmare will be coming to consoles, but it is something that they are very interested in. Ultimately, it comes down just to how successful the game is upon launch. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the trailer for last year? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to wrap today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. You can bring him back, you know. There's always a way. Bring my baby back. <laughs>